Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our camping and survival series. I've got something that's a little bit different than I usually get. Uh, it's actually right here, these Altera socks. Uh, now, obviously these are clothes and uh, you know, a lot of people don't really wanna think about stuff like that or they, they wanna look at, uh, you know, gear. But this is definitely something that should be considered as part of your gear when you're doing things like camping, backpacking, uh, doing uh, if you're going to be doing a survival trip or you're going to have a bug out bag or anything like that. This is something that uh, I would definitely suggest you consider. Uh, now Altera can get, uh, they're, they're not cheap socks. I will say that, you know, um, I see them for up over $20 a pair. So, you know, they're not cheap. But the nice thing about these is, as you can see here, they are alpaca and uh, they also have silver in them and so um, that's actually kind of how I ended up with them I have some friends who who have an alpaca farm and uh, I will actually leave a link to their uh, to their store uh, down below so if you guys want to check them out and uh, see the kinds of things that they have um, they do do things only locally at the time so when I was visiting them uh, I was helping them out with some stuff and they gave me some socks here. I've gotten some from them before uh, that they sent me and uh, so I've already gotten some of these. I've already used them and I can definitely attest uh, they definitely work very well. Now the big thing about these is the fact that uh, they're alpaca and uh, if you guys haven't heard about alpaca, alpaca is very much like wool. It, uh, it keeps you very warm or it can actually help to keep you cool. So they're a great insulator. Uh, if I understand correctly, I believe uh, the alpaca fibers are um, basically kind of a hollow core fiber. Uh, so very much uh, a great insulator. Uh, now these also have the silver mixed in with them. And uh, as I understand, uh, they were made for more of a military use kind of initially and the silver is used um, as well as with the alpaca fibers to, uh, to give you some added benefits. The silver itself, of course, is an antimicrobial uh, or antibacterial. I, I can't remember exactly which, um, I think both actually to, to some extent. So uh, that gives you a great advantage because they keep your feet from stinking. My friend that, uh, that wears these, she has uh, done of course farm work and everything all day. She's uh, also done fairs and she's done fairs for a week solid wearing literally the same pair of socks and had absolutely nothing uh, you know, nothing wrong with them. They, they weren't nasty or stinky or anything like that at the end of the use. Now they do come in multiple sizes. Uh, there is like small, medium, large, extra large. So they don't run like your generic socks that you buy at, uh, you know, the local clothing store where you have like a tube sock that fits like from size six to size 12. These ones are much more customized. They have about a two to three size range. These ones go from nine to 12. Uh, I wear a size 10 and they fit me very well. Uh, so it, that's very nice. You've only got a few sizes in there instead of that huge size range. Uh, these are made in the USA. And if you can kind of see that right there, there is this little made in the USA symbol. Uh, now, uh, obviously these are made and they're made for hiking, running, biking, um, and even everyday use. Uh, like I said, they were kind of based off of the needs of those in the military. Uh, they do come in multiple colors. Uh, these ones are the sage green. They do have a uh, kind of a lighter brown. I do remember seeing some, uh, some gray ones and I think they have maybe a couple other colors. I'll pull these out here and just show you kind of what they look like. Uh, you do have a few different parts here. You have, of course, the toe area, which you can see is like the dark section. You've got that kind of uh, ball of your foot right there. Uh, and the toe is uh, a little thicker and reinforced, as is actually the heel, um, which of course is what you want. It does have a bit of an arch support. Now these aren't like a lot of socks, which like crush your foot when they talk about an arch support. No, this just has a simple firm. They're slightly, only slightly smaller, as you can see, than the rest of the sock. And the elastic in here is not super, 
super tight or super hard or strong or whatever you want to call it. So it's not going to crush you. Uh, and the nice thing too is the elastic on these. I've gone as well and tried them out, tried to wear them down and everything, and I've worn these for a week at a time. Uh, just trying to break them down and see what they do, kind of giving them a stress test. And I've gone a week and had them fit uh, from day one to day five or day seven, and they fit the same way. Uh, and they, they, stayed, they stayed on, they stayed snug, they didn't stretch out and get all loose and fall off or anything. If you guys want to check these out, of course, they do sell them in multiple areas. If you want to check them out from our friend's store, uh, go down there in the description below. It'll take you to their Facebook page. You can check out uh, not only this, but they do, of course, have other alpaca uh, type stuff as well. So if you're into the alpaca uh, fiber stuff, you can check out maybe a little bit of what they have uh, if you're local to their area. Uh, for those of you who are going to be visiting the... Uh, the Eastern Ohio area, uh, that's where they're located. You can uh, give them a call if you're gonna be in the area and see if the store's open. I know the store's open uh, regular business hours through the uh, through the winter months and through the summer. It's, um, it's basically kind of uh, call in and uh, you know set up a time schedule. Obviously, I have the links for my social media down there so you can check that out. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on your way down or on your way back up. And, of course, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, ring that bell. It'll tell you when we got new stuff out. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to say uh, that'll do it for me today. My name's Cougar. This is The World of Me, another episode of our Camping and Survival series. I'd like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.